If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. NFL Players of the Year awards. We're going to give you a vote. Pick one of the, uh, the quarterbacks. Pick one of the running backs. We're putting you on camera. Maurice Jones Drew. <laughs> He just put a one right next to his name. <laughs> Done. If you don't it wasn't much yourself, thought. who will? Right. Well, hey, if you don't promote yourself, who will? Exactly. That's right. I'm a self-promoter. That was good I stuff. What the hell other kind of are there? Tell me about Peyton Manning now, because you're down here at the Super Bowl. You've been here a couple times. We've met you here. Uh, you know, all the hoopla, all the fun and all that. You want to be here in the game. Peyton's here in the game. Uh, you play him twice a year, every year. You get to sit there and watch it happen. He's a winner. It's uncomfortable, bro. <laughs> it is. It, he's a winner. He, he does a great job uh, preparing those players. You know, at the quarterback position, you're only as good as the players around you. And uh, for him to bring those young guys in and, and, and get them going the way he's done, Pierre Garçon, Austin Colley, um, he's done a great job with them. And, uh, you know, that's why he's one of the best. He can, he can bring guys in and, and demand the, the perfection, demand greatness out of them, and they respond. How about these other two rock star running backs, though? Holy cow, huh? Chris Johnson, Adrian Peterson? Yeah, they're, you know, they're definitely... They're okay, uh, right? Yeah, they're cool. <laughs> you know, they... Uh, <laughs> Well, you see, you know, obviously, you see Chris twice a year. Uh, you Chris don't see him, him, but in terms of playing against him, but right. you, you see him uh, do his work against you guys on the field. Oh, you know, Chris is a great running back. Great running back, fast, elusive. Uh, when he has to run with power, he will. You know, um, we had that big. He had that big game against us the second time we played him. I think he rushed about 200 some yards. Uh, they had two 80-yard runs or something like that. So he definitely uh, has the speed to go and. Uh, can't let him get out and open it up. And then Adrian, on the other hand, you know, I feel a little bad for Adrian because he has my old running back coach, Eric Bienemy. And uh, Adrian's one. Of the, he's he's going to be a great one. I, just to come out and do, uh, I think what is he's his first fastest player to reach 4,000 rushing yards or something like that. That's amazing. And uh, to do it in the division he's in with the Packers and um, the Packers and the Bears is, is, is you know something. Uh, definitely uh, notice. Are you ready for this fight with the owners? I mean, we've been asking all the players this all week about the collective bargaining agreement stuff and the fact that it, and for you, it's interesting that it comes at a time for you and some of these other guys like Chris and Adrian where at the peak maybe of your earning power, this is maybe not coming at a good time. You know what? As, as players, we have to be able to uh, stick together. You know, um, we can't stray. If we stray, we're not going to, we're not going to be able to play. So, uh, Really what it comes down to, it has nothing to do with us. Obviously, as owners, they're all businessmen, and they feel like uh, their business can generate more money doing something, something differently, so that's what they want to do. But as players, we're businessmen too. And uh, we feel the same way. And, and what it comes down to is the NFL doesn't happen without the players. No, you know, no one no one buys jerseys that have the owner's name on them. Right. They, they, they come to see the players, and uh, that's what it comes down to. It's good having you on. Man. It's always fun to visit with you. You're a good guy and good hey, sense you, of humor. If it ever comes to yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, you look good. If it ever comes to it. Yeah, purple, the purple's all right with you. We'll get, you. we'll get your number for you. It's too cold up there for him. I'm a tropical human being. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll build you a dome. You, I can do that. You show up, we'll build you a dome. I can do that. <laughs> all right, good stuff. Good Maurice Jones, Drew. Cheers, man. We gave him some, some hand cleaner here. Hand oh, yeah, sanitizer. Get that I love man. the finger. Get that tell in people there. about the finger, how the alligator jumped on you, and you punched, <laughs> poked his eye out, and it got caught, and you ripped it off, and you taped it up. Tell the people that. You, you just did. Well, I didn't want to. I mean, I was out with Steve Irwin. Uh, we, right. Yeah, we were out in, in the, I don't know. Outback. The, yeah, we were the Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> you sure he's yeah. Good stuff. Maurice Jones, sure. Yeah, Thanks a lot, man. Guys. We're live down. If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net.